Okay, so uh, in fact, I made Gobelin 20 years ago, so I have a very traditional animation background, and then I was lead animator in 3D animation studios, game studios, uh, during 12 years. And I suffered a lot when I discovered uh, 3D software because they were made 25 years ago by engineers, for engineers, that it's not for us, they were not designed for us. So I decided to design a new approach to animate uh, characters, something far more easier, an artistic approach and not at all technical. And that is Akitsu. Akitsu is a kind of ZBrush but for animation. It means that it makes only a rig and animation and it was designed very for this specific feature. So here you've got the full interface. It's a big uh, 3D viewport, you've got all the menus inside this viewport. It is the animation side, and if you click here, you've got the ringing side. No more. The first thing to know about Akitsu is that here you've got only one skeleton and one skinning, no more. It means that you go very fast to prepare a character, it's extremely light. Here you select your character by directly click on the mesh a bit like in Presto you've got this which is the spinner, the spinners are 2D special manipulators it, um, it is a, a very big uh, interesting feature because we don't use a lot standard 3D widget because you spend your time to turn around your camera to grab the axis and each time you change your selection you need to do the job again so at the end of the day you spend more time to turn your camera than you make your posing. So in Akitsu you, you place your your spinner into your visual field but you look at the character and then you place your camera in the view you want to make your posing and then you let your mouse into the spinner and then you turn I don't look at it, I look here, but I'm I knowing I'm making some X, Y, and Z rotation. And as I have a custom order selection into my picker, I'm navigating extremely fast into my keyboard shortcuts, into my hierarchy, so I can go extremely fast by making my FK posing. So that's the way we are working FK posing into Akitsu. You can make, of course, Move, rotate, scale. We have here, oops, sorry. We have here the standard rotate mode. And if you make a right click, we've got a special rotate mode. So without any rigging, you can make some interesting tilts and bends. We have the same approach for scale. It means that here you can have the standard scale. And if you make a right click on it, here you've got the tune scale mode. So it's built in, it's easy. Now I will go back into the animation part. So Akitsu is a real animation, so we, we don't make only cycles, even uh, we have some very cool features according cycles. So about cycles, I will show you how it works. So we're making only the first step. Here I have only four keyframes. Oh, and I didn't show you, we have an integrated F-curve editor directly into the 3D viewport. It's a real one, I mean, if you select a curve, it becomes in front of the character, and then you can play with it, update it. So here I have my first step, right? If you're okay with this result, you hit into the cycle maker this feature. And now it created automatically the second step. So now I have my full animation in one click. I have not a very nice loop because I didn't activate it, the loop mode, so here I activated it. So now I have a big and nice loop automatic between my first and my last keyframe. I don't have to manage it. It, it. it copies my first, put it at the end, and it's totally automatic. When you work like this, you never know how we will how we'll interpolate the last keyframe you made, which is this one, with the first which was mirrored by the computer. So. Now you've got the full cycle. You can work the, the full keyframes on one side. For instance, I will take this leg and make this. So imagine that the result that you want. And now with the second feature, I will put it on the other side. So it will mirror and shift from one step. So this way, 
you can go extremely fast to produce cycle. Here you got what we call the stacker. Stacker is our very special keyframe manager. It's, our, it's inspired from traditional X sheet. So you've got all your keyframe displayed vertically, numbered. You can add some extreme or breakdown um, visual flag. You can drag and drop keyframes. On the left, you got the timing. Where is your keyframe? And on the right, you got timing between keyframes. You can edit both sides. Look at the timeline. If you edit this keyframe, for instance, it ripple the next keyframes. So in the stacker, when you had keyframe, you had more time. If you remove keyframe, you remove time. But if you want to work specifically on a keyframe without affecting the other, you do it directly into the timeline. So in fact, we have the best of the two worlds uh, with these two different tools merged in one. Well. Uh, everything is uh, layer, layered uh, built-in. It means that when you create a new keyframe, a new animation, you've got one first keyframe and one first default layer containing all the hierarchy of your character and all the channels of your character. So it means that you can create other layers upon it. So here I have some arms, different, and it's extremely easy to create a layer. Select the, the part you want to add and then you click here, you've got a new free stack, a first keyframe, and then you, you select the channel you want to add and, and, and the join you want to add or remove. And when you want to remove this layer, just click here, so it's extremely easy. All, all I have show you is about FK, what about IK? I go back into the rigging mode, so I will reset all my character. So I select the root join, the leaf join, and then I click here. Nothing more to do. No need to spend 20 hours on the internet to make an IKFK switch. It works already. So here, I still in FK mode because I love FK and I want to keep FK like this. If I click on my target, look at the spinner, I have a new button. It's the vector. Already set it. So here I have the, the rotation of my leaf. I can move my target as an IK, but I, I can of course still make some FK. If I take my character and if I move it, as the target is in white, in fact nothing is locked. But if I turn on in red, now the target is locked. So what it means? It means that before you need to create IK skeleton, FK skeleton, curves upon it, constraints, this is long. And then you go into the animation and you need to keep frames, IK skeleton, FK skeleton, and then you need to blend. No more with Akitsu. With Akitsu you've got one skeleton to keep frame, and when you want to lock a specific key frame, you turn the, tar the target in red, and when you want to unlock, you turn the target in white, that's all. And we have a special tangent mode about uh, IK, which means that we can, it is a combo between spline, liner, and clamp, so we can have some nice spline on this blade, but it will never ever shoot on this axis. And if you want to remove the target, you just need to select it and then here. You suppress it, it doesn't destroy anything. Your keyframe are, are still here. It's extremely light. And it's not only about um, biped. It's the real animation software you can make can make some fishes, monsters, quadrupeds, and like this one. I just realized we didn't add some quadrupeds, so I took this this wall from Mixamo without any animation and animated it. And then with FBX in and out, you can go directly into Unity. You've got the Aki Boy skating into Unity, so extremely fast. So that was Akitsu, guys. <laughs>